Hi, I want to show you a quick way to make a fake uh, mat on a digital photo. Here's a photograph I took and then I just applied a fake mat around it and I was actually print this out. I have a frame on here to kind of show you how it would look. So this is the mat right in here. It looks like a real mat that you would purchase but it's really just a graphic drawn in Photoshop. Let me show you how to do this. I'm going to come over to my untitled document here and this untitled document is 8 by 10. This is the size of the print I'm going to make. The physical size of the print, not necessarily the size of the image, but the size of the print. I'm going to process or I'm going to print on my inkjet printer. So let me go get the photo. I'm going to click on this leaf picture here. I'm going to press on my move tool. I'm going to press on this. and I'm going to drag it up to the tab on top where it says untitled. I'm going to bring it over my other canvas here, my untitled one. It's 8 by 10. I'm going to hold my shift key down. I'm going to let up on my mouse. And that will center and drop this into a new layer. That's the purpose of the shift key because that way I don't have to align it. Now I want to rescale down the actual image to fit on my print page with my mat. So I'm going to go Command or Control T. I'm going to use my Transform command. I'm going to go Shift to maintain proportionality. Alter Option to do it from the center. So I'm scaling from the center. I'm going to come in about an inch on each side. And I'm going to let up on my mouse first and hit Enter. And that's the size I want the actual image. Now I want the mat to go around this. So what I do is I go over to my tools and I pick up my rectangular tool and I draw out a rectangular shape layer it's called. Make this the same size as my photo. It probably will fill with black but I don't want to have anything filled in this rectangle. I just want it without a fill but I want to be able to apply effects to it. So I'm just going to go to my layers panel and I'm going to bring down the fill to zero. I can still apply effects. I just don't have to have a fill in it. So now what I'm going to do is I already have an effect on this one. I'm going to throw it away. So with this rectangular shape layer selected, I'm going to come down to FX and I'm going to pick Inner Glow. In Inner Glow, I'm going to change my blend mode to multiply. I'm going to change my color to black. I'm going to change the oh, opacity down to about 30%. I found that works really well. And I'm going to come down here to size and I'm going to bring my size in quite a bit. Much, much more than I would normally do. Just to show you how it's kind of fogging up or glowing up the edges of this picture with black. So let's bring it back down to a working size of around 10. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click OK. So now there is a mat, a fake mat illusion you actually see. If I zoom up on it here in a corner a little bit, you'll actually see the illusion of that mat. But what I want to do is I want to bring it back and resize the mat a little bit larger. So with that shape layer picked, I'm going to go Command or Control T. I'm going to go Shift Alt or Shift Option to scale from the center out. And I'm going to bring out the mat to about a half an inch from the sides. I'm going to let up on my mouse. And I'm going to hit Enter. And now it gives me this nice illusion that there's a mat on here. If I needed to adjust this mat, like the top and the bottom sides, maybe I want to make it a little bit taller and a little bit deeper. Hit the Transform command, hold the Alt or Option key down by itself, and I'm just going to drag on this bottom handle. And that's actually going to scale the top and the bottom outward equal amounts. So that's a slick thing. You can just hold on the Option key and go ahead and do that. And that's really all you have to do to make a fake mat. Uh, if you wanted a different picture, you would just bring in another picture, hide this layer where this picture's at, bring your other picture in, resize it, change the shape of the mat if you needed to, if it wasn't the right aspect ratio, and you'd be all done. Again, the secret of this is you start out with a new untitled document, the print size you want, bring the photo in, scale it down, then put your rectangular frame around it, scale that up after you've applied the inner glow effect, and so you have your mat around that.